what caused such pride and violence. Between 1889 and 1930, there were around 3,700 known lynchings in the US. The perpetrators ranged from single people to small mobs to huge crowds of around 15,000. The reasons given were broad. While most victims were accused of murder or rape, many were lynched simply for being rude, for arguing, for taking the wrong job or having the wrong beliefs. In 1935, for example, a mob lynched Reuben Stacy for frightening a white woman. In the days following his death, people from across the state travelled to see Stacy's body. One photo, this one, shows a young girl not looking traumatised or afraid, but excited. And when an anti-lynching advocate was travelling to visit the site of a lynching, he came across three children walking to school near the site. They asked him if he was going to the place where the had been killed. They then described the scene, in his words, animatedly, almost as joyously as though the memory were of a Christmas morning or of the circus, talking about the fun they'd had burning the Revelation chapter 12 verse 10 And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation, and strength, and the kingdom of our power, and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power, day and night. Barakatai Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rechachadash, Double honors unto the apostles, the bishops, the elders of Great Millstone, the Ruel, who taught me this truth. No respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect. This is your brother, Yahweh coming to you once again with this truth. And, of course, these are the accusers. In this lesson here, we're going into shameful spewing on how they did us and how they been doing us. The accuser of thy brethren. Lying. All right, melon. Anything to be justified by taking you Jake's out. Now, what you're seeing before your face is a selfie. And by this alone, according to your laws, Esau, Edom, this is very incriminating. Taking pictures next to a dead body, smiling. That seems kind of eerie to a person. But nevertheless, Shame for spewing is on your glory. You're being exposed for who you are. The devil. Right? That bloody man. This is the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2. And verse 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also. And let thy foreskin be uncovered. And if you know anything about that. That's a filthy disgusting thing. Someone's foreskin you are being uncovered the world is seeing your crimes against the so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans the Israelites, the true uh, chosen people of the most high they see your selfies your mobs of bloody men they see what the, the, the picnics and the barbecues and the selfies you have taken with our folks, man. And those was just known from that short period of time, from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. That was 3,500 or 3,800 known lynchings. You see? Let's continue this on. This is Habakkuk 2 and 16, start from the top again. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. And the Lord ain't going to put no mixture in it. It's not going to be watered down. You finna get what you put out. It says, <clears throat> The cup of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai's right hand, shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Yeah, shameful spewing is going to be on your glory, which it is now. You got the prophets bringing it out, the apostles, the elders, okay? All manner of, hey, even your people, 
their spewing, uh, you know, their own tongue falling upon themselves. Okay. And this is a disgrace to you, because this is the good old days. All right, these peoples are are, are devout Christians. All right, and and most cases they coming from church. You see. Coming straight from church to a pic, <laughs> as they call it, a picnic, barbecue. These are devout Christians taking selfies with dead bodies. This is incriminating. And this is why the devil, you know, this is why the Lord tells you, you know, who you are. All right? Knowing who your enemy is. This is Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10. There's only one chapter. For thy violence against thy brother... J shame, uh, so like you, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. This is a violent act, send a man on fire just because he's so called scared a white woman, or you accused him of doing something that he was innocent of. You're the guilty one, all right. You fast forward to the day, you see what now they putting the boogeyman on Russia. You go to the 40s, 1940s, they was putting the boogeyman on, on the Germans. Okay? You go back 7 AD, who, who's the boogeyman? Uh, uh, Rome, man. And all you, all you Edomites are the same. You're bloody men. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right? And this is what we're waiting on, man. We're waiting on the Lord to break into play. Even though you're going to do your thing. All right. We know that you yearn to get back to these days. And you're going to live out your wildest fantasies. All right. That's why most of these uh, so-called white supremacists, uh, you know, join the police force. All right. The 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 the, the troopers and the, and the sheriff's offices. Okay. To live out their dream on hunting someone down and... and and basically putting them to death. They think they have that, that right. All right. But they don't. This is Ezekiel 35 verse 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. See this hatred that they have for us. Is not going to stop. Okay. It's actually going to get turned up. It, it, it is it's actually building momentum. Everything is playing out just like the Lord said it would. Okay. And this perpetual hatred is this everlasting. It's not going to stop. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, say of the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood. When it was time to let your foot up off our neck, guess what you did? All right? You, 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 you stomped harder. You kept the pressure on the taxes, the unfair wages, the no account for our labels. All right? This is why our folks out there looking for reparations. <laughs> you looking for reparations from this nigga that's, that's posing with, with dead bodies. No good can come from that, man. That which is crooked, who can make it straight? All right? Continuing on, it says... I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So you get what you put out, okay? Mount Sir Idumi, that's it's going to become a desolation, man. All right? Even the man himself, the bloody man himself, okay? Let's jump down to 15. It says... <clears throat> As thou didst rejoice at thine inheritance of the house of Israel. Again, they coming from church to these picnics and barbecues. All right. What other diabolical mindset have you have to have to take a selfie with a dead body, man? To have a, 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 a smile on your face as big as the jokers. You have to have some, some deep perpetual hatred within you, man. And it ain't changed. Okay? It says, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia. Alright? Edomites. Okay? 
point blank. It says, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah. All right. So the Lord is about to get real up close and personal with you people, man. You see that? So we have to put you in remembrance of these nice little selfies that you have been taking, that you have been uh, sending postcards to your relatives. Half of these pictures you see, you, you actually see the uh, the postcards that they have sent. These people actually have they have these things and these items in their photo albums at home, in their family heirlooms, the jars of of, of castrated fingers and genitalia and ears and nose. Okay, they have these things, man. <laughs> You ain't no telling what you might find. You run across a real, you know what I'm saying, true Edomite, man, home in his basement or what have you. Okay? And this is a proud look they got on their face. So the Lord is about to show up. He about to show out, man. So we give you this scripture. This is uh, Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwell, dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Yeah, because it was a cup we had to drink. We had to drink the dregs of that cup of slavery. All right? So the Lord is telling you this is what you're going to get. All right? And according, on, uh, according to the scriptures, as the Lord has said, you're going to get double, man. All right? It says the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. And again, what better, uh, you know, investigation can you do than to have the actual perpetrator taking selfies with the dead bodies? All right? And this is how we know they don't even follow their own laws. Okay? But let someone, you know, uh, put your name in the hat. I bet you they come knocking at your door. All right, by facial recognition, these people can be found, man. All right, or their families can be found. Or their family families can be found because they reap the benefits of slavery. They enjoyed uh, lynching and hanging. All right, they enjoyed writing laws in the, in, in, on the books to keep us down, oppressed, and behind. You're going to have to pay for that, man. Okay? The book of Isaiah, chapter 47, and verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, everything is being exposed on you people, man. Okay? From the time uh, of your exception, all right, even going all the way back, man. Things are coming out. Even you people, y'all leaking y'all own shit, man. All right? So we know this ship is sinking, man. <laughs> you know? Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. See, Esau is on the ropes, man. He can't handle his ass whooping he's, he's getting by the way of the scriptures. Ooh, hey, we got your candid camera, man. Red-handed. Lord willing, this is edifying and comforting. On to the next one. Shalom.